Welcome to our discussions. We are presenting a, a question from the Great Diamond Chemistry Joint Examinations. The first question is a question on the periodic table. Let us have a look at it. Let us have a look at this question. The question is uh, on uh, the periodic table and it reads, the figure below shows part of the periodic table, study it and answer the questions that follow. We have the periodic table that has elements in group 1 all the way to group 8. Remember group 1, 2 and 3 are metals. Then 4, 5, 6, and 7 are nonmetals. Group 8 are noble gases. But remember, group 4 elements are metalloids, i.e., they can either lose or gain electrons in order to acquire a stable electron configuration. So, Roman 1 select the most reactive metal. Remember, these elements react by either losing or gaining electrons, but for metals, they react by losing electrons. In this case, when we are selecting the most reactive metal, we have to look at the metal that has the largest atomic radius because that is the metal that can easily lose an electron. So in this case, when we look at the elements in group 1, group 2, and group 3, you realize the one that has the largest atomic radius is cesium with the chemical symbol CS. So the most reactive metal is CS. Then, of course, the explanation is it has, has the largest, has the largest atomic radius hence weakest nuclear force of attraction hence weakest nuclear force of attraction we move to question 2 or roman 2 of the same same question which group one element has the highest first ionization energy remember ionization energy is the minimum amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost energy level of an element in this case again when you are picking the element that has the highest ionization energy we look at the one that has the shortest atomic radius and in this case, we are going to pick it from group 1, which is lithium. Reason has the smallest, has the smallest atomic radius. Hence, hence we can say strongest strongest force of attraction in other words its outermost energy level electrons are strongly held towards the positive nucleus and therefore requires a lot of energy to remove them roman 3 explain each of the following observations the melting point of aluminium is higher than that of sodium. If you look at aluminium in atomic number 13 with 283, sodium 281, you realize that aluminium has more delocalized electrons and therefore forms stronger ionic bo metallic bonds than uh, sodium. So as part of uh, the answer, we say Aluminium has more delocalized electrons, has more delocalized electrons in its structure, in its structure, 
hence or we can say then sodium hence forms stronger hence form stronger metallic bonds the next question two the melting point of phosphorus is higher than that of chlorine remember phosphorus has a larger molecular size compared to chlorine and therefore we say phosphorus phosphorus has a larger molecular size that is uh, than chlorine what does that one mean it means phosphorus phosphorus has phosphorus has stronger van der waals has stronger van der waals forces than chlorine that is why it has a higher melting point compared to chlorine next compare the atomic radius of potassium and calcium remember potassium and calcium are in the same period and across the period there is generally a decrease in the atomic size uh, due to the increase in the number of protons so we can say calcium has a smaller has a smaller atomic radius than potassium than potassium then we can say calcium has more protons has more protons than potassium than potassium hence Hence, its outermost energy level electrons are strongly pulled, are strongly pulled are strongly pulled are strongly pulled towards towards the nucleus thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions and in case you're watching this channel for the first time please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this you'll automatically be given a notification